Thank you for exploring ScriptPro's Advanced Pharmacy Clinical Services platform. We will take you through a brief overview of APCS and how its seamless integration with ScriptPro's pharmacy management system and flexible design ensures healthier patient outcomes and overall wellness. Advanced Pharmacy Clinical Services, or APCS, is ScriptPro's patient case management platform for complex clinical care associated with chronic disease, pain management, and specialty drug therapies. APCS is an extension of ScriptPro's pharmacy management system and therefore fully integrated to combine patient profile and dispensing data with clinical program documentation. APCS is hosted in Microsoft Azure and can be accessed from any web-enabled device. ScriptPro supports SAML 2.0 token authentication to APCS with your identity provider or customers can use ScriptPro authentication services. Single sign-on can be supported where applicable. APCS consists of four primary components. There's a Clinical Programs tab, a Tasks tab, and a Patients tab to manage patient enrollment in a clinical program and track critical tasks throughout the treatment period. There's also a Settings tab to customize configuration and administrative settings within the application. The clinical program contains background information on the program and builds the foundation for the clinical program as a whole for delivering patient care. It includes a brief description of the program, inclusion criteria for patient enrollment, protocols for guiding the clinician through enrollment, first fill, and reassessment protocols, and a clinical resources section providing helpful hints to care team members during patient engagement. Clinical programs can be developed from scratch, or you can license clinical program packages from ScriptPro and customize to meet your needs. A key part of the clinical program are the program protocols. The protocols define recommended steps related to patient engagement for enrollment, first fill assessment, and reassessments. The protocols are built to provide an overall picture of the patient's disease state and success within a clinical program, as well as reportable data that can be used for internal benchmarking metrics and accreditation purposes. You can also customize the clinical program by adding other standard protocols if desired, such as a patient care plan or a refill checklist. The enrollment protocol covers the appropriateness and patient eligibility as it relates to the patient's diagnosis. There's a benefits information section with links to copay and patient support programs and clinical information and diagnostic criteria pertinent to the program. You'll notice the patient demographic information displayed at the top of this dialog displaying patient bio information, medical conditions, and allergies. Patient information, prescriber information, and third-party information is also available to reference as needed. This data is pulled from ScriptPro's pharmacy management system and is displayed while performing all protocols, assessments, and patient-specific tasks. First fill assessments are designed to walk a clinician through pertinent patient education material at the time of an initial fill. It begins with a rundown of information for the clinician to review such as the patient's current medication and allergy lists, as well as fields to determine if this is a new medication or a new disease state. Depending on the responses to the questions, the clinician is presented with information that can be delivered to the patient, such as background information on the disease and medication, injection training, and goals of the therapy. The clinician is then taken through drug-specific educational information to deliver to the patient, including things such as side effects, interactions, and conditional counseling. Reassessment protocols are used to evaluate treatment and helps the clinician determine how the patient is tolerating the medication, the effectiveness of therapy, and whether they should or can continue to stay on the therapy. And again, as mentioned previously, patient profile information along with prescriber and third-party information can be viewed when performing all assessments. And lastly, we include an adherence survey at the end of each assessment protocol to help determine the potential need for early or additional intervention for a patient. The coloring score will change based on responses to the survey questions, where red represents additional intervention is required, yellow represents additional intervention may be needed, and green represents additional intervention is not recommended. 
APCS facilitates a team approach to complex care, allowing you to deliver meaningful patient outcomes. Task management and task assignment drives workflow related to potential opportunities for patient engagement. We have two views for viewing tasks, the task list and a task calendar. Filters can be applied to either view to see task assignments specific to a user, program category, task type, and task status. The task dialog you see here allows you to schedule an activity, assign it to the correct clinician or team, link protocols, and add task-specific notes. Again, you'll notice at the top of the task dialog that the patient profile and demographic information is displayed to assist the clinician while managing the task. From the Patients tab in APCS, you can view all patients currently enrolled in various clinical programs, as well as enrollment opportunities that are identified from Scriptro's pharmacy management system. For reporting purposes, this list can be printed or exported as needed. APCS Settings is a utility used for configuring clinical categories and customizing task names specific to your clinical care. This is also where access privileges are set up for users and user groups and where permissions are assigned. Site Statistics provides a real-time snapshot of programs created, protocols created and completed, program opportunities, and patient enrollments for both active and inactive patients. Reporting is a critical piece to managing patient care associated with complex disease therapy. Payers, prescribers, manufacturers, and accreditation bodies all have unique requirements as it relates to reporting feedback on therapy success and beneficial use of the prescribed drug. APCS's integration with ScriptPro's pharmacy management system provides standard reports like prescription turnaround time and proportion of days covered along with data export capabilities to customize reports as needed. Now, I want to show you how an APCS enrollment opportunity is identified in ScriptPro's pharmacy management system during the script data entry process. The screenshot you see here is the script data entry pending UI dialog from our pharmacy management system. Pharmacy technicians performing script data entry are alerted when a prescription's NDC is matched with a clinical program in APCS upon submit. This hard stop in the fulfillment process ensures an APCS opportunity is not overlooked and that the cadence required prior to dispensing these drugs to the patient are adhered to. Options are provided to the clinician at this point to create an opportunity in APCS for further evaluation by another team member, go direct to APCS and enroll the patient in a clinical program, or the technician can skip enrollment and address later during the script data entry process. We want to thank you for exploring ScriptPro's Advanced Pharmacy Clinical Services platform. For more information on APCS, please contact ScriptPro's Business Development Center at 1-800-606-7628.